The Tempest is at your command. Hello and welcome guys, I am Pretzel Rose, this is Anne the Average Gamer, and this is a champion breakdown for Janna. Okay, Janna is a mainly support champion, um, some people can pull her off as a uh, AP mid, although not really recommended, she's much better as a support. Um, all her skills are more suited to being a support, knock-up, slows, uh, shield, and a, a massive uh, knock-up heal on her ult. Also, her passive um, gives her increased movement speed to everyone, but uh, I'll, I'll go over her, um, over her abilities in a second. Um, if you look down here, you can see a um, basic loadout for, uh, for Janna. Um, this is a good set of starting items. Um, for any support really. Um, basically you go one fairy charm for a little bit of mana regen. Um, a mana potion, so if you start to get a little bit spammy and uh, or if the uh, the enemy uh, down bot lane can um, start supposed to harass on you when you need some mana quickly for um, protecting your carry. Always good to have a mana potion. Three health potions. Um, that's because Janna has no heal other than her ult, and you really want to be saving that for the um, for the knockback, um, or when everyone's really low and you really desperately need to heal everyone. Um, so yeah, and uh, of course, sight wards for any any support important to have sight wards. Um, I might go over. Uh, I'll have another video about where the good places to place wards, um, just to. Uh, just to um, you know, help you out a little bit. Um, first, let's run uh, run a taunt and uh, jokes and stuff, and uh, see what you can hear. Um, I'm not sure which order I bind these, so uh, um, actually no, let's just type it in. Uh, slash taunt. Okay. And you thought it was just a harmless breeze. Okay. Now for her joke. Yes, it's true. For only two ninety five a minute, I will leave you breathless. Yeah, one of my best, one of my favorite jokes of, uh, of the entire set of champions. Um, the dance. Get down the floor and um, apparently a lot of these uh. Dances for a lot of champions are uh, based off real dances done at some point in time. I'm not quite sure what dance Janna is based off. Um, but yeah, you can get Slash Dance has gone giant blue for this. Um, so, cancel that. Slash, blah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not using the base skin for uh, Janna. I probably should have, but uh, well, this is. This skin's called Ice Queen Janna. Um, all of her effects, all of her spell effects have, uh, have uh, of course, ice snow effects attached to them. Um, as you can see, probably a few times during this video, she'll just stand there and uh, shiver for a second. Uh, it's a pretty good addition to it. There, you go. there she goes. Um, okay, onto the uh, onto the um, skills. All right, starting with a passive, Tailwind. Janna and her ch allied champions gain 3% increased movement speed. This might not seem that much or that great, but it allows for everyone to uh, just have a little bit more escape power or chasing power. 3% is just, uh, just enough to help you catch up, and if you have a carry building uh, Phantom Dancers, uh, that, that sort of thing, just for them to get increased movement speed, this will help them out a lot. Their, their movement speed goes up, helping, uh, meaning their the passive gives them extra. Um, so yeah, 300% of uh, 335 at the moment for Janna. Um, that's because uh, of her W. Alright, now on to Howling Gale, her Q. Uh, summons a Whirlwind, which deals 60 magic damage. Um, some uh, ability power ratio, I'm not entirely sure. To all, champion, uh, to all enemies in its path and knocks them into the air. The Whirlwind travels Further deals 25 bonus damage and knocks enemy high, enemies higher for each second it charges. Uh, activate again to release a whirlwind early. I believe it charges for about four seconds, um, meaning you can uh, four or three seconds, which means you basically uh, basically can double the damage early on uh, at rank one. 
to um, increase its, uh, um, you know, uh, it's better to charge it at level 1. Later, later levels just doesn't matter so much. Um, this costs 90 mana, has a 14 second cooldown. Um, she, uh, um, one really cool thing about this is the, uh, the early, early release and um, the fact that she can move while casting it. Um, so, so she can be moving along, I'll show you guys later. Um, she can be moving along and then uh, uh, cast it at the point. It, enemies can always see the whirlwind even if it's in a bush, but they don't know which direction it's going. So it's a pretty good idea to um, aim it in one direction a few times, figure out which way they're going to run every time, and then aim it in the second direction. They're going to think it's going to go down the middle, it's going to go and hit them. Your team has um, destroyed unless they're Yay, minions. Um, unless they're smart and trying to dodge it every single time. Um, but most of them won't be. They'll think it's going to, you're going like, to cast every, in the middle every single time, or wherever you choose to cast it the first time. Um, this is what it looks like. So, spins, watch the movie, so it spins, it up, and goes. Um, it's a really good disabling tool for uh, when people come to initiate and carry down the bot lane. They come, you start, you start your work with uh, your uh, Howling Gale up, um, and immediately hit Q to fire it off again. So, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do now. So, Start to charge it, and fire it straight away. Um, it doesn't go quite as far, doesn't do much damage, and um, I think it knocks them up. Um, yeah, knocks them up less. Um, but it's good for a quick um, stopping of the GA. Um, okay, her W, Zephyr, passive, increases movement speed by 4% and ignores unit collisions. Breathlessly. Thank you for that, um, that warning system. Okay, um, so yeah, passive, uh, when you first put a skill into it, this bird shows up. Um, that's the Zephyr, that's the, uh, the spirit. Um, alright, active, deals 60, plus an unknown ability or power ratio. I probably should have looked this up, but hey, I did this out of a, uh, a last minute notice. Um, uh, magic damage to an enemy, and slows their movement speed by 24% for 3 seconds. Passive benefit is lost when Zephyr is on full now. So basically you transfer, that thing fires off into an enemy and it slows them down by uh, quite a lot at later levels. Um, but you also lose the uh, ability to move through minions and increase movement speed. So it's always a, um, if you're being chased, it's always a toss up between uh, what you're going to do. Are you going to uh, you're gonna keep that and hope that you can get away or are you going to fire that off and um, hit the champion and slow them down. It's usually always a, uh, a good idea to um, if you're being chased by one person that doesn't have a, a dash or an initiate, like a, like Makali or um, a Shen, um, Aurelia too, uh, anyone that has a dash, Gragas, um, uh, it's probably a good idea to use that on them, um, slow them down. Um, um, even if they don't have a dash, like Gragas's, which has got a cooldown, um, maybe not so wise on Akali, make sure she burns up all three before using it, um, and then uh, yeah, use that on, um, on them and slow them down. If you're being chased by two or more people, uh, I'd recommend um, only only going with the uh, the passive on this one and just keep running, firing uh, uh, Howling Gales behind you or uh, in front of you, um, depending on how long you want it to charge. Um, okay, uh, now onto E, Eye of the Storm. Shields an allied champion or turret for 5 seconds. The shield absorbs up to 160 plus ability power ratio damage and grants 32 attack damage until it breaks. Basically, at max level, this gives your uh, gives someone a free BF sword. Which is pretty good. Um, free BF sword and a shield. Um, you can use it on, uh, on towers, um, which is uh, a good thing. I don't know if it boosts their attack damage, but... Um, as you wish. Definitely shields them. So let's go over here and see what it looks like in the tower. Essentially the same thing happens on a um but yeah, I think it's Yep, it does give the bonus. Okay, I just found out something new today. Uh, the Upon same thing happens on wind. a champion, which I'll show you here. So the same 
same effect. Um, and yeah, of course, the, the shield bars and shows up there. Um, if you can pull this off uh, quickly, you can block power hits so you carry can dive a little bit longer. Um, you know, block, block incoming harass. Um, Your team really has destroyed a turret. Later on, it will block a lot of damage. Um, and that B free BF build is amazing to stick on carry. Just stick it on them. Um, it's got a lot, it's got a short cooldown. Uh, it doesn't cost amazingly much mana later on. Just, uh, you'll have uh, lots of um, regen items and sort of things. Um, cast it on a, a carry when you're uh, attacking a tower, and the tower will go down a lot faster because another. I think it goes up to about 75 attack damage, which is a lot. Um, okay, now on to uh, Janet's ultimate, uh, Monsoon. Summons forth the might of the wind, knock back, knock surrounding enemies back, and restore 70 plus uh, ability with power ratio else to nearby allies each second to four seconds. It's a channel. Um, you can break it at any time. It can be broken on you, so you can knock you out of it, just don't you, uh, suppress you, that sort of thing. Um, of course, um, really good for uh, resetting a team fight. So if things don't, if you guys initiate, things don't go quite your way. You can reset the team fight by uh, hitting R, knocking every, all your enemies and everywhere, and healing all your allies. Um, so yeah, it's it's really good. Um, you can uh, knock if someone dies, you can get just behind them, knock them into your tower. And uh, I've, I've had that happen a few times. People have gone to a guy's carry, our carry when they've been really low, and um, I've just altered them into the tower and slowed them so they can't escape the tower hits, and shielded my carry so the carry can't take much damage. And uh, yeah, the, the dive goes very, very wrong for them immediately. Um, yeah, it's a pretty dumb idea to try and dive on dive Breathlessly. on Um also, uh, her Q can be good for uh, checking bushes, so you fire it up, and then as you walk into the bush, you knock, you set it off again, so that as you walk into the bush, everyone's in the air, if there's someone in there, and then you can immediately exit and shield yourself, um, so that any grass they throw out isn't going to hit you. Um, on to um, uh, her good picks for summoning skills, um, I always recommend picking Flash. Um, because it's an amazing utility. These are two other spells down here. Um, but yeah, I'll Your flash has been first. Destroyed. Um, I always find it's a, a really amazing um, uh, utility spell. It's great for uh, great for attacking, um, you know, dodging skill shots if you're skilled enough, jumping in the way of uh, certain ults to try and block them or um, certain attacks. So. Um, Jump in front of uh, Lee Sin, resonating strike, you can protect a carry, or uh, um, block an uh, incoming Caitlyn bolt, uh, bullet uh, from her ultimate ace in the hole. If you um, don't screw up the flash and overshoot it or undershoot it. Um, so, yeah, uh, onto uh, another two good choices for other summoner spells. I always recommend taking flash unless you're uh, confident enough that you can escape every single time. Is it, uh, like a ghost or no. Utility like that at all. Um, exhaust is a. Uh, uh, let's go into this. Uh, exhaust target champion reducing movement speed by 40%, attack damage dealt by 70%, and ability to and item damage dealt by 35% for 2.5 seconds. Um, really, really, really good. Um, uh, really good utility spell for all supports, carries. I recommend taking it. Basically, anyone that wants to slow down an enemy champion and uh, reduce the damage they can deal, um, I recommend Exhaust. Um, Your has been destroyed. I never used to take it, but um, I really, really like it now. Um, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite um, summoner spells. Um, really, really good. Um, just an all round, oh, really good, all round, uh, all round skill. Okay, and. Uh, to uh, clairvoyance, heals a small area of the map for for your team for six seconds. Uh, it's got a pretty short cooldown for some spells. Um, basically, what you want to do with this is uh, just reveal buffs, um, check Baron, check Dragon. Um, usually, the support takes this. Um, I recommend if you're just doing normals, not in Skype with anyone. Um, don't take it because uh, people might. Um, 
might call for it, it might be down and you just use it to check a buff or that sort of thing. Um, if you, at least if you're in uh, communication with the team, either in the same room, Skype, another program like that, TeamSpeak, um, you can uh, coordinate when you're going to do it. Uh, a good idea is to, uh, when you start the game, immediately uh, click and then target up at that base. Um, that will let you see what the starter items are doing. Um, so yeah, you, you can do that straight away. Um, and then by the time it recharges, you'll have enough to um, check the buffs if it's being... Um, um, either it's going to be um, invaded or whether it's clear to invade. Um, so yeah, it's good to do that so you can see what starter items are being applied. Um, Um, yeah, um, it's a really good general sight spell. You can use a lot of uh, vision, vision control. Uh, you can use it to check bushes if you really have to. Another warning. In um, harmony. Sitting here talking for too long, obviously. Um, yeah, it's uh, Jenna's a really good support champion. She's probably one of my favorites. Um, probably one of the best support Swiftly. champions at the moment. Um, if you can get the hang of her, it's not. Not like uh, Sona or uh, or a Sraka who has a heal. I'm just going to show off my ult here. And, uh, yep, knock everyone away. Uh, people can walk back into it. Um, With ease. People can walk back into it after you set it off. So sometimes not the best to set it off. But um, if you pop it in a team fight, you reset the team fight, and if they don't refocus you, As you wish. then. Um, um, if they don't refocus you, then I'm not sure of my uh, my W here. Um, if they don't refocus you, then upon the wind, I lose the ability to move three minions, so I have to go around them. Um, I'm gonna pop back. I'll show you. With ease. Uh, yep, nice. Your turret has been destroyed. Um. If you don't get focused again, you can uh, pop into a little bit of team fight. Swiftly. You're, you're, you're just hammering on carry or the dominant hammering on tank. Um, they'll be uh, they'll be healing them. Pretty much the same rate they can do damage at the high level to this. Um, really good uh, spell. Your team um, has destroyed a turret. Breathlessly. Uh, uh, and wave um, and show you. Um, uh, I recommend um, when you're skilling her at level one. In I recommend uh, uh, putting the first point into E shield. Swiftly. Um, then putting a second point into Q. I uh, Gale. And then uh, third. being your ult. Um, except in the case of when you're uh, leveling up. Um, so basically you go, uh, you have one E and then so six is your R, then your E as much as you can, and you get to your finish, so your W is the max level, and then you put two points into your ult, uh, yeah, then you put your points into your ult um, afterwards. And then you can focus on Q and then R. Um, it's just so you have all your utility first. Your your ult's mainly used for knockback, so um, yeah, you could take this and use that earlier on. Um, so yeah, there's a uh, champion breakdown of uh, Janna the Storm Fury. Um, if you like this, I'm gonna have some more videos of this coming out. Um, no idea when, maybe today, maybe later. Um, recording more today, um, if I can get some other people to jump in with me so I can show off some of the uh, champion specific, um, champion -specific uh, items, maybe not items, uh, uh, abilities. Um, okay, thank you for, uh, thank you for watching, uh, like, subscribe if you like this stuff, I'm going to be putting out a lot more. Um, I am Pretzel Rose, 
Uh, my channel is the average gamer. Average gamer plays. Um, and uh, um, this is the champion breakdown for uh, Janna. And uh, see you guys all later.